Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be getting started with our project. Now, we're going to be using vanilla JS as in no frameworks or anything, but we still have a bit of a project set up, and it's really only to make things easier for you when you're working. So let's get going by both cloning our repo and getting going. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and we are going to be getting started in this video with our code base for exploring browser APIs. Now, for this application, we're not going to be using any frameworks whatsoever, just straight JavaScript in the browser. We are, however, going to be using something called Vite to run our development server as well as have nice features like hot reload. Now you could certainly run any of these examples just by importing or using your JavaScript in a straight up HTML file. So don't feel like you have to use Vita or uh, you have to follow along exactly as is because everything that we're gonna be doing in this course code wise um, is going to just work in browser and in JavaScript. Now, also, if you don't want to run these examples locally, we have a Git pod set up for you pre-configured that you can already fork and get started on the examples with all of the same startup code that we're going to be using in the course. So also don't feel like you need to run this locally. You can always just pull this up on Git pod. Okay, so with all of that said, Let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to get started if you want to follow along locally. Now, I'll have the repo for this linked in the video description. And if you want to just hunt for it on your own, it's under Level Up Tuts on GitHub, Exploring Browser APIs Start, as in this is the starting code for this course. Now, if we would like to grab this code, all we simply need to do is clone this repository. So. This video will assume that you have Git knowledge as well as Node.js installed on your computer so that we can run Vite. That said, again, you can run these examples in just straight JavaScript if you'd like to do so as well. However, if you'd like to follow along, what we want to do is select code, grab the path here, it says the SSH path. We can just grab this path right here, copy it, and then in our terminal, Git clone and then paste in that path, hit enter and watch this download our application. Now, if we check our directories, you can see that we do have exploring browser APIs start saved into our folder where we can change directories into exploring hyphen browser APIs hyphen start. Next, we'll want to do npm install to grab any dependencies that we need. And again, the only reason we even need to run npm install is for Vite itself. Now to get these things up and running in our own browser, at this point, all we need to do is npm run dev. And that is going to get us up and running at localhost port 3000. And when we fire up that localhost port 3000, this is what you should see. Level up browser APIs. It looks just like this. Now, again, since we aren't using any frameworks, these are just straight up links to individual HTML files. So you can see when we click on any of these links like this, they look a little bit something like this. Okay. So you can just use your back button. You can always come here or you can just type in the URLs directly, none of which are going to be that intense. Next, we're going to open up this project in VS Code or Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor of your choice. If you'd like to follow along exactly as is, you can do like what we're doing and run it in VS Code. Now, for me, since I have the code CLI installed, I can just type in code dot forward slash. You can also drag and drop this directory onto VS Code and it will open. You can say, yes, I trust the authors. There's not too much going on in this. I'll bump up the font size here so you can see exactly what's happening. And if you're wondering what color theme or scheme I'm using here, let's go to theme. And the color theme I'm using is Level Up Syntax Remix. It's in the Level Up official package. Just one thing to call out just in case you want yours to look like mine colors wise. Okay, so from here, you'll be able to see that we have a basic index dot html that says it's just a vite app this is a vanilla js vite app with links using normal hrefs and 
uh, normal link tags. And those are linking directly to an examples folder. That examples folder has different folders inside of it, such as battery, clipboard, DOM, events. And you'll be able to see in all of these folders is one index.html file and one index.js file. Now, you won't need to link these files together in any sort of way because all of the index.html files are pre-configured to load up the style sheets as well as load up the JavaScript that we'll be using after the DOM content has loaded. So you can see that our script type JavaScript is down here and then our style.css is here. And some of these even have additional JavaScript and CSS files, or I should just say just CSS files there. And we also have a few public files. We have a quick audio clip. We have a logo, a logo.svg, a specific override CSS for one of the components. And then we just have our style.css. Now we won't be writing any CSS in this course and we won't be writing too many things outside of the individual.js files. Again, we're gonna keep this really structured really simple in terms of how we do all of this. So because these files are already linked, all you're really gonna have to do is load up the index.js files and start typing, and we'll be talking through the following things. Now, some of these examples will be used across multiple videos as we dive further into the APIs. So you'll see that the number here doesn't exactly match the number of videos in this course. However, these folders will match these exactly right here. So I will almost always refer to what we're doing by the folder name. Okay, so with that said, what we're ready to do is we're ready to start diving into basics of working with the browser and with the DOM in JavaScript. Now, if you're an experienced JavaScript developer, the first few of these videos is going to feel basic as we really cover the modern ways in which you can interact uh, with DOM elements, add events, and create new elements. And then we're going to be diving into some things like using the navigator and a user agent and why you might or might want not want to use the user agent before diving into things like the the clipboard API as well as permissions and then getting into some really fancy stuff like text to speech, um, the brand new share API, using things like device sensors like the battery and visibility sensors, geolocation and file system stuff. We're going to be covering a lot of really fun examples, some things that are exceedingly cutting edge and some things that have been in the browser for a little while now. So it's going to be a nice mix of exciting and brand and new experimental APIs as well as time tested ones as we show you just some of the things that you can do in the browser using straight up vanilla JavaScript. So let's get started in the next video. What you can fire up is the DOM folder and then index.html as well as index.js. You'll see frequently I'll have these kind of split side by side here and I'll close this. This is going to be a very common way in which we'll interface with this code. And then the actual HTML will also be output. So let's get going as we dive into working with the DOM in modern JavaScript.